Well, uh, Brian, uh, Phil Scott was not made available to us today to talk about those first hires or his first visit uh, to meet with Republican governors uh, this week in Orlando. Scott now scrambling to fill posts on his senior staff and then uh, agency secretaries and commissioner positions as well. We are told he has now settled on only two of those hires, and the first announcements are not expected to come until Monday or Tuesday, we have learned. But some interesting tidbits from his Orlando trip with uh, GOP governors, according to a reporter for Vermont Digger who went along too. Seems Scott softened a bit on the issue of legalizing marijuana in Vermont, which is sure uh, to be debated again in the legislature this winter, leaving the door open now that Massachusetts and Maine voters have just approved referendums. Uh, Governor-elect Scott quoted uh, this morning uh, in Vermont Digger said, quote, if it's inevitable and it appears that it is because other states are doing it, we don't want to, I'm not looking for Vermont to be an island. So we'll take that into account. Again, uh, Scott, uh, unavailable for comment directly today, said to be tied up in meetings with aides working on the transition. Brian? Stuart, uh, so many new people in top positions for this upcoming session. There's some news uh, you have about the race to become the next Speaker of the House. Yeah, th there is. Uh, the House and Senate are going to have new people in charge this session. House Speaker Shap Smith stepping down this year, you'll remember. And that touched off a four-way race uh, for his uh, successor. Well, today, Bristol Representative David Sharp confirmed he is out, dropping out of contention, says he hopes instead to return as chairman of the Education Committee. Officially, there are three people in this speaker's race, but I, I think it's really a two-horse race between uh, Sarah copeland Hansis and Mitzi Johnson. Frankly, either one of them will make a great um, uh, speakers. copeland Hanses of Bradford has been majority leader under Speaker Smith. Mitzi Johnson, meantime, of South Hero, chair of the Appropriations Committee. The third candidate uh, still in the running is Newberry Representative Chip Conquest. The election for speaker is a big one, comes on the first day of the session in January. Well, over in the Senate, as we reported earlier this week, Chittenden Senator Tim Ash is expected to take over as president pro tem. Big shakeup this year at the Capitol.